Howdy, howdy again, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Sim Airport in Early Access. We are on the 718, uh, 2017 build on the experimental server, sandbox mode, extra large map. Um, and this is part two of Two for Tuesday, a new thing here on the channel, because I want to get more content out to you, and I hope you guys appreciate that. All right, so... Where are we now compared to the end of uh, episode one, two, three? So this is episode four of the Let's Play series. Um, episode three, we wrapped up at the uh, in the evening of day three. So you note we're at day four, 11.58 p.m., which means we're at scheduled drop dead time for day five. Now, so where are we? Where do we stand? Well, we've obviously made a little bit of money because we're up uh, we're only 950000 in the hole. Uh, we don't have any packs in the airport at the moment. Airline interest. All right, so let's look at this. We got everybody on board except SparkJet, Star Connect, and Super Alliance, which we know we're not going to get them on board for a bit. Uh, Star Connect and SparkJet, I think you have to have 57% airline interest uh, to get them on board. And I believe it was because we jacked the pricing that that negatively impacted that all right i think that's been tweaked a little bit uh by the devs which is good it should you know that, that's part of the game it's part of the challenge all right so what do we want to do now being it's 11:58, we can set the schedule for day five and looking forward let's pull our master flights schedule up here and see what time slots we can fill in all right a couple of things i'm going to go ahead and drop down these 707s to 90 minute turn times and we're going to see how that works out for us um, I'm a little leery of that from what I've seen so far but hey it, we can we can change it if necessary okay so uh, what that does for us though and, and ultimately if the change comes what we'll do is we'll dump the 707s and drop back to 737s or A320s because we know we can get them turned in 90 minutes, all right? Uh, the long taxiway is obviously part of the issue, but, you know, whatever. There's going to be long taxiway no matter what, uh, unless we have a short runway. And if we have a short runway, we couldn't fly bigger airplanes. Uh, well, I guess you'd say the medium-sized airplanes, um, including the 707. So we're keeping that uh, available as an option. Thus, we have opened up the 8 a.m. slot, the 10 a.m. slot, and we have the, let's move this guy, actually we're going to move this guy to 10 p.m. And we'll be able to slot another aircraft in the 8 p.m. slot. That will give us 10 flights for the day. You can get 10 flights in if you have them set at 90 minutes on gate. All right, so let's take a look at aero time. Aero time bleh, is uh, just regional jets, okay? And... Um, Let's see. I'm going to make sure I set up my timer. Uh, I'm trying to keep these uh, shorter than 20 minutes. It's not working out too good. Uh, last one went about 30. I'm going to try to keep this one down around under 25. Because uh, according to the analytics, I'm losing you guys after about 7 minutes. So let's try to keep this short. Uh, we don't want any regional jets. Skip them. Rexicana. What does Rexicana have? They have 787s. We're not prepared to take those. And we we do have the facilities for them as far as runway and gate goes. But we don't have enough. Uh, we'd probably need six uh, security lines, maybe more. Here's who I want to go see. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, they have one night flight. Let's hope it's a, it's a 707. Ah, I like Atlantic International. Um, okay. Rexicon is usually bigger planes. Smart Air Lux is always bigger planes, as is Galactic Point. Their smallest aircraft may be a 7.6. These guys have A350s and Galactic 7.8s, A380s, 7.4. Yeah, nope, don't think so. Uh, a Ford Air, let's see what you got. Ah, they got a more. Oh, wait a minute. We've already got a bunch of a Ford Air. I want to branch out a little bit here. WestJet, let's see what you got. Dash 8s, we don't want. Dash 8s, a twin prop, uh, 50 packs. Um, so unless you're running like a little regional airport or something, uh, WestJet usually doesn't have a whole lot to offer. Pacific, no Beechcraft 1900s, no, unless you're running like a crop duster service. Juno Connect, 
uh, you know connect with my airport because you got a 76 a CRJ and a dash 8 so until you get your 737 act together which is yeah they got them in the fleet you do no connect to my airport star flight these guys usually pre ah here we go boink we'll take that one all right so we just made 3100 bucks and again this is the deal if you cancel it costs you double what your acceptance was so I'd lose 3100 dollars and right now I mean that's a that's a good chunk of change all right so we dropped that in notice it's yellow it's yellow because it's butted up against here okay so we're going to mouse over see how it says uh extend boarding time hover the right edge and resize so we're going to right click there we're going to drag it to the left and that changes it out of yellow so that's got room between the next flight oops all right uh we got two more time slots those are morning arrivals uh let's see what we got here we're running out of options here a little bit actually we're kind of short on options so arrow time we know we're hosed with him all right uh a ford air does have a morning 737 we will take that and drop it in here we are looking to be in a ford air hub okay that leaves us one morning time slot we're going to save that and not worry wait a minute oh that's an see that's an afternoon if this were a morning arrival i could slide it over here to 10 a.m and then take an afternoon flight at noon all right noon can be morning or afternoon 6 p.m can be either afternoon or night okay that's critical to know all right so when we start the day which will be in two minutes that will put us under this new schedule and we will be seeing all these flights come in all right uh packs wise i think we'll still be okay numbers of flights wise we're good because we already have an atc tower we built that at the get-go because why not all right we're into the new day uh we've made some cash because we signed up some new flights and so we're just going to kind of dilly dally here for a minute while we wait on 0400 and our first aircraft to come in so I, if you have any questions i didn't mention this make sure to put those in the comments below i uh, questions comments uh constructive criticism is welcome i appreciate that uh that's all good ah i know what we can do Wait, here comes a bunch of our, our packs. We can go in here and we can dump some workers, all right? So let's see here. We're going to get rid of... we got to be an equal opportunity employer. So uh, I'm actually kind of looking for duplicates here. I'm kind of looking for folks that look the same. So these ones are unique, unique, unique. Mon That's unique and Monique. Uh, Eddie Murphy's kids, as it were. Uh, this guy looks awful lot like this guy. So we're going to click on him and fire him. So we're going. My objective is to fire five people right now. We're going to have some cutbacks. These two guys look about the same. Um, so yeah, we're going to send this guy packing. Goodbye. Uh, let's scroll up here. See who we got. We got a blondie up there and a blondie right here. This one doesn't look like she's too happy, so she can go find a job somewhere else. And let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's get you guys to move around a little bit. There goes them. Dance around. Who's this clown over here? This dude. Let's see, we got a whole bunch of guys that look like this. Oh, this guy don't look happy. He's fired. Goodbye. And let's see. Monique, unique. Uh, we got a couple of chicks. You know, we better fire. We better fire a chick here because I don't want anybody getting suspicious. Yeah, you don't look happy. All right, you're gone. All right, so that takes us down to 15, which that cost us some money, but uh, it also frees up some payroll uh, because we really don't need that many here, uh, and we'll be working timing. You hire a bunch to start with to work your timing of getting things built, and then you can cut it back. And if you recall, we actually started with 15, but we added five more to try to get that last-minute baggage and stuff construction done. So we're coming up on 5.30 a.m. This aircraft's off the gate early which is good and we are waiting on our six o'clock flight let's see if we can all right hold on there's all right there's the sound and there's the airplane very good it landed 12 minutes early this one's twitching now it's off 602 okay it's on the gate a few minutes late not too bad all right we're going to try to get this one turned really quick so let's see how this works out um 38 bags to load we're going to see how many packs get on it here in just a minute. We're down to 50 minutes. Okay, baggage is unloaded. 
We're deplaning cleaning. Bags have been dropped off at bag uh, at the baggage depot. Now we're going to pick up bags. Okay, now we're loading. There's 125 packs. This is going to be a test here. This is going to be really close. No, I well, no, yeah, no. You know why we're going to be late? We're going to be late off the gate because of baggage. This is not good. All right, bags are loading, and now our next aircraft is going to be late. They're going to be delayed because this schmuck isn't off the gate at 7.40 and he's due in at 8 o'clock, right? Yep, so we know we're having a little bit of an issue with the 7.0 um, and that issue is related to baggage. All right, so now the aircraft's coming in. Now we're going to be late. Now the one good thing is we're going to be able to make it up after this guy. All right, so that will get us back on schedule for the after, rest of the afternoon. So what are we going to do? That's a good question. Um, we could ditch the 707s. We could do an additional... Um, I mean, this slows things down a little bit, but, you know, whatever. You balance that out with everything else. All right, this aircraft's going off. going to be off the gate late. It's fully loaded. It's ready to go. All right. So he's departing. We've got planes in route. Okay. What are we going to do? <clears throat> I think we're uh, we're going to actually keep running here because I want to keep the episode moving. Um, contemplating switching this to first class only. And coach only. And nope. Coach only. Okay. And then uh, for giggles, I guess we can go ahead and throw another gate agent desk on here. All right. So I'm going to do this with one gap in between because that's our. All right. So that's one. So we need to be down one more. There we go. And we're going to build a queue line here. Actually, I'm going to pause it here for a second. Because people are going to start bum-rushing this, this desk once it gets built. Now here, it's, light, it's lit up in black, which is usually indicative of any packs. So, not quite sure how that works. But, all right, let's get this built. So the truck will be rolling in here in a second. Some workmen will come along. Oh, it's not going to be ready for this flight. All right, there it is. Boom, new one's built. All right, so we're going to assign this to the gate. And then we're going to assign it to coach only assign. All right. Oh, and we need one more uh, staff member for that. So we need a staff. Drop you there. And they'll probably, nope, they took directly to it. That's good. What would sometimes happen is they'd take off and head up to here because one of these people would break away and head down here. All right. So that happens sometimes. Okay, 86 out of 86 are on board. Bags are on board. We're good. We're off the gate and on time. So I anticipate we're going to be on time here. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> Here's what we're going to do. And this is not going to change until tomorrow. Actually, let me... Oh, it's an afternoon flight. Damn it. Can't fix that. All right, crap. I would Now, if this had been a night flight, what I was going to do was move these two ahead of it. So the 7-0 would be at, on the gate at 10 p.m. And we'd have that extra time. It could be late because nothing would be behind it. But I screwed that up. So, um, oh, we jumped to 59.37. Oh, that's right, because we went through uh, we went through midnight. So let's see where we at. Okay, so we did get uh, Sparkjet and the other one, whoever it was, Star Connect on board. All right, they're not offering offering us much though. So let's see. Uh, let's pull up the schedule and see if we can fill in this one more morning slot. And we may go ahead. Ah, eh, Sparkjet, come on. Doing me wrong here. Star Connect is big planes usually. Oh no, they're 707. Okay. WestJet Pacific. Nope, you're just. 
1900s Juno Connect. Nope, Juno Connect. Here, here all time. You gonna get your act together and give me something bigger than a stinking regional jet? Nope. Which is okay. I mean, we need airlines that have they're just regional jets. That's cool. All right. So I want a morning Atlantic Air National. What do you got? Morning 707. I don't want to take that. Nuts. Okay, let's hope we get some more flights for tomorrow. All right, here's this guy. Ugh, he's late, which means the rest of the evening is going to be late. Ugh, I hate that. So, kind of in a, a, a quandary as to what to do with this deal now. All right, we've got, well, we'll see how quickly he loads. 113 packs, here we go, we're loading now. They're due off the gate in, in 12 minutes. Uh, packs are moving through really quick. And we're three minutes late, four minutes late. Bags are coming on. And 15 minutes, now we're delayed. Okay, wow, okay. There we go, so we're off the gate, plus 22 minutes. Okay, so now our eight o'clock can arrive, and it's late. Which means our 10 o'clock is going to be late unless they boogie, boogie, boogie and get this one done. Boarding starts 12 minutes after they clean, clean the plane and get it done. Uh, two minutes. All right, here we go. All right, see now, so here's what happens. What's happening right now, this is why it helps to have two baggage cars. The first one unloaded and it's, it's dumping stuff at the depot. The second one just rolled out, and it's actually going to pick up and bring them out to the aircraft, which should, should being the operative word, expedite the process. All right, it's only 86 packs, which is kind of weak for a uh, 7.3 being able to hold 140. It's a little late now, but okay. We're loaded. We're off the gate. We made up some time. That's good. So not the worst thing. We're saving. Next plane's in at 10 o'clock. Man, see, and it takes them 10 minutes to taxi in. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a little disadvantage to this design. Okay, but what are we going to do about that? Here's, it's all part of the plan. Because it's all part of the plan. Okay, and the plan is this. When we build a second gate right here, the smaller aircraft are going to move to this gate, right? And we'll use this gate for bigger airplanes which will be on the gate for longer periods of time and we'll have a little more flexibility. The seven O's will probably stay here for now. I'll eventually phase those out because I don't like them. Uh, and the seven threes will stay, or we'll go to the next gate. Uh, and then at that point, we may assign a standby gate, all right? So let's do this. We've zipped into the next day. Uh, we're gonna wrap this episode up here in just a minute. But what I wanna do first is uh, we'll kind of pause it right here is we're going to go into reports and look at our profit and loss now the only thing we built on that day five was a, uh, a, a gate agent desk right infrastructure was that runway fees garbage service infrastructure baggage carousel no nope, that's not it transportation staff we hired a new staff member Retail infrastructure, huh? Why does it not show construction? That's odd. Ah, there, oh, wait a minute. Staff infrastructure, retail, transportation, runway fees, terminal fees, airline fees. All right, we're in day six. Why did we lose airline fees for day five? Oh. Oh, 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 because oh, we didn't bring in any new flights on day five. That's why. Airline fees here were because we signed up new flights. Right. Okay, so that's the deal. Um, so we made a little retail cash on day four. Day five, look, retail made uh, 4605 All right. And then we had some infrastructure for the dessert kiosk. All right. So we didn't make a lot of money, but we did make some. So it costs twenty four hundred for the entire day for each. So that's forty eight hundred bucks. We made fifty three seventy. So we made five hundred seventy dollars. Hey, every little bit helps, right? All right. 
So let's look at that as a positive. The net total, we made 21,000 for the day, all right? That number is going to increase as we go along. So let's not panic. You know, it's not a, not a problem. Uh, we're going to work through it. Uh, also, we're into a new day now, so we can look at filling this slot in the schedule again. Be Whoa, uh, airline interest dropped off. You know why airline interest dropped off? Uh-oh. See, SparkJet and Star Connect pulled out again. So that was because we had flights that were late, that were delayed. So we're going to try to get, and in part, it was because of the darn 707s. So we're going to, uh, I don't think this is going to work for this day. We're going, to, we're going to try to make it work for now. And we can't make an adjustment here at the back end, unfortunately. This is an afternoon flight. So kind of hosed on that deal. What we're going to have to do is start making more money uh, by either swapping out for bigger aircraft or building a second gate. Because once you start getting to 15 to 20 flights a day, that's when you really start pulling in some money. And then you really start paying out of this, getting out of this hole. Being we're on sandbox mode, it's not an issue because <clears throat> you have unlimited funds. So let's look at arrow time. Arrow time's still janky because if they'd put a 737 in here, that'd be great. But they don't. A Ford Air, they, we have six flights with a Ford Air. They have nothing to offer us right now. WestJet, Dash 8, no. Pacific, Dash 9, uh, 9 oh, Beechcraft 1900s, no. Juno Connect, Ju still no Connect. Uh, Aerostar, Atlantic International, we already checked that. I don't want another 707. Okay, so we're going to run this forward and wrap up the episode for the day, boys and girls. So I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, this is part four of our Let's Play Sim Airport in Early Access, available now on Steam. Hope you like the episode. Hope you're learning things from uh, watching us. And I uh, hope you like the Two for Tuesday deal. So if you did, hit the like button. And uh, if you're so inclined, please share us with your friends. Tell them to come on board. Check it out, uh, Sim Airport, and then go buy it off Steam. I don't get paid for this, but I think it's a neat game. Hopefully you do too. And then uh, subscribe to the channel and encourage your friends, family, and uh, aliens that might be living with you to, uh, to do so as well. And we're going to take a little bump of money there and pause the game right chaw uh, as we come into 0400. And uh, we will see you with our next Let's Play episode here on Sim Airport. Uh, comments, questions, and uh, cri constructive cri criticism are welcome below. Uh, all, if you have criticism of the game, I guess you can say that below. I mean, I'll try to respond. It's better if you voice it on the message boards over on Steam, though. And I'll put a link in the description to, uh, to the Steam site for the game. So you can go over there, join the message boards, and have your voice heard. Anyway, uh, I'm A-Train. Appreciate you stopping in. Have a great day, and take care.